Simpson's rule is used to approximate definite integrals. It only works when uh, n is even, so the n you use has to be an even number. And it basically says that the definite integral from a to b is approximately equal to this stuff over here on the right hand side, this huge mess. There's a really easy way to memorize this. Just memorize the 3n and memorize the b minus a and look at the coefficients. It's 1, 4, 2, 4, etc. 4, 1. So the coefficients are 1, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 1, right? It always ends in 1. It always ends in 4, 1 as well. Okay, so we're asked to approximate this definite integral with n equals 4. So let's do it. So whenever I use Simpson's rule, I always work this out first. So delta x is equal to b minus a over n. In this case, a is equal to 0, and b is equal to 2, and n is equal to 4. So delta x, well, b is 2, a is 0, and then n is 4. So you get 2 over 4, which is 1 half. Then I draw a picture. So let's do that. Let's draw a little picture. And we're integrating from 0 to 2. So what I do is I just keep adding delta x. So 0 plus 1 half is 1 half. If you add 1 half again, you get 1. And if you add 1 half again, you get 3 halves. And if you add 1 half again, you get 2. So these guys are our little x's. So this one here is x sub 0. This one here is x sub 1. This one is x sub 2. This one here is x sub 3. And this last one is x sub 4. So again, you start by writing down delta x, plug in b, a, and n, work it out. Draw a little picture like we did here. And just keep adding delta x. So we start at 0, so you add 1 half to 0. And you get all the little x's. The last thing to do is use the formula. Okay, so let's attempt to do that. Let me use a different color. Uh, actually, I'll stick with blue. I like the blue. So, all right, let's do it. So the definite integral from a to from 0 to 2 of x cubed dx, right? Our a is 0, is approximately equal to, let's see, b minus a divided by 3n. So b for us is 2. So 2 minus 0, so 2 over, and then 3n. Well, n is 4, so 3 times 4 is 12. Yep, it sure is. So it's 2 over 12. Then we have the bracket. Now we have to write down f of x sub 0. Well, in this problem, f of x is x cubed. Right? That's the, that's the integrand. So f of 0, I'll actually write it, f of 0. And then plus 4 times f of x1. Well, x1 is 1 half. So it's f of 1 half, just be really careful when you do this, plus 2 times f of 1, that's the next little x, x guy, right, x sub 2, plus 4 times f of 3 halves, that's the next uh, little x guy we have, and then the last one is 1 times f of 2, and this is all in brackets. Let's keep going. This is 1 sixth. f of 0 is 0 cubed, right? We're plugging it in here into f of x. So we just get 0 plus 4 times 1 half cubed plus 2 times 1 cubed plus 4 times 3 halves cubed, right? We just cube all the x's plus 1 times 2 cubed. What a mess. And if you work this out, it magically gives you four. So that's the answer using Simpson's rule. Note, if you actually work this out, if you actually integrated this from zero to two with respect to x, how would you do that? Well, you would add one, so you would get x to the fourth over four. Then you draw your little line, you put the zero here, you put the two here. 
Then you plug in the 2 first, so you get 2 to the 4th over 4 minus, and then you plug in the 0. So you end up with 16 over 4, which is 4. So in this case, in this case, uh, Simpson's rule is just perfect. It worked out exactly right. Uh, that does not always happen. It's supposed to be an approximation method. I hope this helps someone out there who's trying to work through Simpson's rule.